Yeah, well, the Wake County School Board is going to take the next several months to come up with this new updated policy. And I did have a chance today to speak with a student about his own practices during the school day. Do you use your cell phone during the day? A lot. A lot? Yes, ma'am. Caleb Reed goes to Athens Drive High School and was honest in sharing. He's on his phone often. I feel like I can, like, balance myself. Reed says he'll use it during his free time and also argues it's an important tool to keep his parents in the loop if something happens on campus. Or perhaps if a safety lockdown code is issued because of an incident. I just feel like it's best for them to know immediately before anybody. Right now in Wake County, cell phone policies differ from school to school. The Wake County School Board is looking to update and develop a district-wide standard. Our current policy dates back to a time when we were also concerned about pagers and two-way radios. Wake is starting to review its policy as some states have already taken action. Florida became the first state to ban phones in the classroom, followed by Indiana. At least eight other states are considering similar legislation. Parent Katie Ferreira's 13-year-old son just got his first cell phone. She says at his school, kids aren't allowed to use them during class. He said the classes are less disruptive. She likes the current system of each school deciding on its own policy. Every school is different. You know, his school is very, very big. I feel like maybe smaller schools might have different needs. So Wake County School Board says at some point a survey will be sent out for feedback from the community. They're planning on uh, gathering information, which includes that feedback and plans to present uh, some options for its new cell phone policy plan by March of 2025. We're live in Cary, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.